Hi, I'm Ben Likeling, president of Bullies Be Gone. We're going to talk about how to get the bullies gone from your life. Specifically, we'll talk about how to stop toxic teenagers. Now, many parents, especially single parents weighed down by guilt, allow themselves to be bullied overtly and covertly by teenagers who have finished with high school and are physically and mentally fine. They allow these big toxic teens to hang out at home for free, doing nothing, while they wait on them and let the teens abuse them. No wonder these lazy, angry, sullen, sneering, sarcastic teenagers feel entitled. Nothing bad ever happens to them. They get to trash the house, demand to be catered to, and they abuse their parents. Tolerating bad behavior only enables it encourages those teenagers to act worse. No wonder those big brats don't respect parents who don't demand respect by having consequences when respect isn't given. These parents usually hope that if they're nice enough to their abusive teenagers, someday the brats will like them and will wake up transformed. The spoiled brats will then be as nice and polite as they were when they were little they'll become self-supporting hard workers. This wishful thinking is wrong. I'm not saying that spoiled brats are bad. I am saying that permissive parents encourage kids to act out of the worst characteristics of their egos and personalities. It's always easier for these teens or for most people to sink down to the most lazy, selfish, self-centered, narcissistic parts of them. These permissive parents are not setting high standards of polite civil behavior. Their expectations are too low. Many of these permissive parents are secretly afraid that their big brats are too fragile to succeed. They're afraid that if they demanded good behavior and self-sufficiency, the teens would give up and fail. So they continue coddling and praying instead of giving in. Assert yourself. Protect your personal space, even against your precious flesh and blood. You need to, one, set standards of polite civil behavior that are not up for debate. Your team's agreement or disagreement with the standards is irrelevant. Your standards are the requirement. Number two, see the grown kid as a guest in your home. They have to behave like good guests or they can't stay. They have a choice. Behave and stay or resist and leave. It's clear, straightforward and simple. It's just not easy. The third thing you need to do with those toxic teens is to have real and immediate consequences that matter if your brat doesn't live up to your standards. Your explosions, rage, and threats are not consequences. Usually, effective, immediate consequences are that the big brat has to move out. No negotiation, no promises accepted. Performance counts, not promises. Fourth, document evidence and report them to the police if that big brat threatens or assaults you or your possessions. And fifth, don't give them a second chance. Do the consequences you said. Typically, since they've gotten away with being jerks for so long, they'll push the boundaries to test you. Maybe doing something minor to see if you'll really act. And then they'll have reasons, excuses, justifications, and promises. Or they'll attack you verbally or physically. The more you're smiling and even-handed and matter-of-fact as you throw them out, the better. The moment they leave, get rid of their stuff, convert their room into something you can use. It will do them a world of good to try living with a friend's family or even with a bunch of friends. But what if they say you're a bad mom? You have to know who's wiser. You or a selfish, petulant, narcissistic 19-year-old? Well, what if your baby has to live on the streets 
or fails at life. That's the hard thing. We never know what might have been. But we do know that teens who don't exert themselves need to be kicked out of the nest. If you don't kick them out, they'll never learn to fly. That's a guarantee. After you throw them out, you can define a new relationship you want. You get together with people who are fun, interesting, and treat you nice. That's your rule. That's the price people have to pay for getting in your personal space. If they're willing to do that, you'd be glad to meet them at restaurants or movies and even treat them sometimes. Your needs and wants are at least as important as theirs. Is this emotional and financial blackmail? Definitely. You bet. What's the problem? 18-year-old kids need to stop trying to get what they want from their parents and to start getting it from the world by their own efforts. How do you feel when you see them living on your couch when they're 42 and still wanting you to cater to them? Since all situations are different, please call me at 1-877-8-BULLIES. That's 1-877-8-BULLIES so we can create a plan that's effective in your specific situation.